Evening. There is a new twist in the battle of gay marriage. The state government has announced that same-sex marriages won't be recognized across Indiana. News 10's Lindsay Yates spoke with the first couple married in Vico County and has their reaction in tonight's top story. A mad dash to the courthouse. I was at work and I came rushing home and I was driving really, really fast. Exchanging I do's and sealing it with a kiss. The moment Donica and Nikki always dreamed of, now a reality. You'll never forget this. And it's just an exciting and a happy day. Really excited. Um, get that little fluttery feeling in your stomach. 15 days later, they are simply enjoying being newlyweds. If we maybe get caught up and get stressed out or tense or angry, we just uh, throw in the word wife and you get all smiley and giggly again. But now their marriage lingers in a legal limbo. The Indiana state government announced they won't recognize same-sex marriages conducted on those three days in June. I've long believed that, uh, that, uh, that people and states uh, ought to be able to make decisions uh, uh, on the institution of marriage. Donica has only one word to describe the ruling. We're disappointed. Um, we kind of anticipated that that's the way they were going to come down. But nonetheless, discouraged as they play another game of wait and see. It's a waste of money and time. And it's kind of embarrassing, really, because everybody else is moving forward and we're fighting to move backwards. Still, they have high hopes the Hoosier hospitality they've grown to love will prevail. This is home. This is where we want to be. For now, there is nothing in limbo about their commitment to each other. We're married, um, so no matter what they say, it's legal to me. And I've been fighting for so long, I'm not going to stop now. In Vigo County, with photojournalist John Tim, I'm Lindsay Yates, News 10. The governor did say that Indiana will recognize the marriage of two women from Munster, Amy Sandler and Nikki Kwasney. That's also in line with an appeals court ruling issued because Kwasney has terminal cancer.